And as we said, his task, Crawford. You rarely ever see guys go to Crawford's body. And always can maximize his range. That's the second right hand that I've seen from Kavayas. Thinking, you know, he should. Oh, good exchange right hand. that time, right hand. The end of round two here. Welterweight mm. championship. Can throw you off when you you see a guy. Oh, who's all wrap your brain around that and make. Oh, oh, Kavayaskis comes forward and Bud Crawford wants to get to him. He must be smart. A right Let's hand go. in the second round as well with the right hand. Pulling him back with his hands down. And now, and now Crawford goes to the body. And look at the action we have here in round three. And there was just simply the grappling with the arms. The feet never got tied rounds. Kavayaskis is landing 42% as they exchange here. And Crawford's landing 30%. He had a 19 and 10 power. Not hurt. He's good. He recovered well. I didn't think it was a knockdown. Moments ago from Kavayaskis. Remember, he's in that southpaw state. Boxing and then trying to come to him mid to late in the fight. Crawford right now is picking up the tempo. He Kyle sure Yaskis. is. He's willing to trade. Look at this. Go, 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 go. Brought out the fight in Crawford. Right. They are exchanging in the middle of the ring. Tempo on Kyle Yaskis and he's... <laughs> Play out. But Crawford, who is used to dominating the competition, has a guy, Cuckard, has it two rounds apiece. But takes the first round, likely takes the Luskis, is enjoying a 37 to 20. I, I don't like this game plan right now from Crawford. He's fighting fire with fire. He's getting hit with shots he shouldn't be getting hit with this early in the fight. Keep doing what you're doing. Tom Crawford gets close. He needs to just let those bombs go. He's hurt right now. Kavioskis is hurt with that shot. And right hand. Crawford, he stiffed something out. He stiffed him out. He knows that he don't like the pressure. But he got to be careful. Combination comes in from Crawford. Here in this fifth round. Mm. He shakes. Tough, even a strong-willed tough guy. Down. No doubt about it, guys. That was after the... It was an excellent visit you had with him recently. I know he's got great respect for everything you've done in your... Mm. The 26 knockouts against the mean machine, Kavayaski. Terrence to do to take control of this fight. I'm, I'm looking for him to... So he can get more rips. Right now, he don't got, he don't got no rhythm. But it looks like this fight because he got tagged in that second round. No, 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 you know. There's a combination. No, Petition. What about turning to the south, to the, from the south? I'll see Philly, he'll go to it. You're not asking him for it? No, uh-uh. Well, I think they're telling Terrence the right things. They, they had a game plan, and I'm not sure this was the game plan. But see, ask us if I do anything different. Look at that, look at that. That's what you got to do right there. Heidi Crawford comes in. There's a three-punch combination from the chip. Oh, and Kavayaskis comes back and lands a combination zone. Oh. And Crawford just nails him. But one of the best finishers in the boxing. Looking for the uppercut. Straight right hand. Oh, he's got Kavayaskis. Of round seven. Kavayaskis willing to trade. Oh. Crawford landed a fight high. 23 power punches and threw 30-time mentor and trainer. Say to him, are you comfortable staying right-handed? Good work, doubling. And he's going to explode here in just a few seconds. Well, you can see him ready to snap with that jab there. Yeah, but if Bud starts at the body, the head will be... And now Kavayaskis right in the kitchen with a combination, including the left hand. He smiles and shakes it off and then goes with a start. Kavayaskis got as soon as Terrence Crawford gets close. He needs to throw a right hand, a looping right hand. He needs to throw a shot at Crawford to back him up off of him. He's Crawford. throwing. He just ain't backing him up. Crawford very comfortable standing right in front. Punching between. Crawford took that last he round off. To him right yeah, now. he's back. Oh, a lunging left hand. That backs up Kavioskis. Oh my God. Then an uppercut. And absolute business. Let's watch how he does it here. One punch. That's it. Bud Crawford.
championship of the world. It's 54. Now the switch in stance. Rolling the outside range with that jab while he's stocking. Jab of Benavides. He's going to have to out jab Terrence Crawford. And then Crawford sitting on top with that now southpaw right jab as he comes in with a straight left to the body. Set off. We're going to take just one short break here and then back to Crawford and Benavides. Stick around. Oh. There he is. And there he goes to the body. It was a left hand to the body. <laughs> there was Miss Deborah. It was an interesting. Good exchange. Beat his confidence. He's never fought. He says Terrence Crawford ducked him. I don't find any evidence of that. But in boxing, the imagined slice are usually. Jab going from there. There's another body shot. Counterpunch, and he has a good right hand. Doubles up the right hand that time, does Crawford. There he works his way to the inside and included yet another body. He's been putting those earmuffs on. That's target practice for a guy like Terrence Crawford. The knee that was shot, a bullet went through the female artery. Bud Crawford, who has had so much success going to the body in this round, taking control here. Huh. Best pound for pound fighter in the world. That's Terrence Bud Crawford. Trained by Brian McIntyre. Good jab, he'll try to cover up. You can get closer to him. So, so, so. Just shook off a little taste of that power and stuck out his tongue. You said, watch out for that right hand. Try to go to the body there, but went up top. Now he comes sweet on, and he's looking to just create things, different angles by switching south off. Boxing him beautiful, you know, he's making mess, you know, he can't feel the punch, and look, he's getting hit, look at that, you know, he's doing really beautiful, he's going to the body, he's catching him with those straight right hands, look, look at that, how can you tell me that, look, but of course, you know, you're in it easy, maybe because Junior is not following him, you know, so hopefully he can keep like that, I think he's going. Sure did, and not running makes a good night for you, the viewer. And that right hand was a decisive blow in the previous round, the right hand to the body. For that right hand to the body again. That time, he caught him. He is. Crawford should pick up his feet and confuse Benavidez. Imagine for the great Bud Crawford, a guy who sits number one atop so many. This is more than most people imagine from Jose Benavidez. Put it that jab occasionally, but he'll wait on you and he'll fire some combinations back at you. Like that, except for when he was a kid moment right there as Bud came in and then the right hand came in at a downward angle. Good exchange right in the center of the ring. And there's a difficult almost a decade ago. Right now Benavidez is having some success. He is. Champ said he's catching Crawford on the way out. Crawford had a tendency. Crowd here. You saw him double up that left hand. Now he gets right into the kitchen. Three punch combination and another one. Crawford right now controlling the outside. That's why he's able to land these shots. Has been Benavidez standing still. I think that Bernardo has been monitoring both corners. What can you tell us, Bernie? To use a jab in this round to not stay in a great place. He came in and Buck came at him. You see there's no jab. Now Benavidez is willing to... Is this the start of where Crawford takes control? Green round. I don't see the same real, the same confidence to attack from Benavides that I did earlier in the fight. Covering up like that doesn't work out so well when you're in with him. Total punches outlanding him 93 to 63. Great Fatigue. observation on the feet, Mark. Fatigue. Noticeable how it's changed. You know who else? Trying to put that right hand sweeps across. Crawford, three punch. Your muffs on. Mm -hmm. he, you know, Benavides only just stocking right in front of Crawford. Now he tries to put a com combination together. Crawford comes in, left hand right to the body. Good exchange to pulls out the ace. An answer to Joe's question is that right hand coming in. Andre Ward, more than even six rounds, but still Crawford up 78.
74. To be able to land some combinations up top like that, right hook, right feet. I just got out of range right there. Angles out right. He made the point before. The jab looks good. When he's Honestly, it's the knee. I believe it's the knee. Nice shot right there from Benavidez. Kept walking his dog. Actually, it was a cat, too. It was an exotic $10,000 cat at midnight in Phoenix. Someone targeted him. And he Crawford, who's stepping right to him as he covers up against the ropes. And Crawford's going to... Last round. Finish this. Crawford right now. Not really using his jab. I want to see Terrence fall in again. Wasn't successful earlier in doing so. Let's see what Benavidez comes up with here as Crawford looks to unload. Pushes him back. A right hand can. This is exactly what Crawford needs to do. He needs to stay close, work the body, block and counter. Benavidez with an offensive output. Crawford comes right back. Here in round number 10. And Crawford Owe on elite. In six minutes for Benavides. Crawford comes into this round having landed 100. Keeping him up. Chin in the heart. Chin in the heart. They create offense and they provide elite defense. Maybe looking at a go for broke 12th round from the undefeated challenger as Crawford brings it a little bit. Recognizing that Benavides is trying to counterpunch everything he does. So what he doing? He's sweeping with the check, which is smart mm -hmm. by Terrence Crawford. There it is again. Sacked off balance. Is easily in control, and he's got two and a half minutes to try to. How much does Benavides want it? Well, if he wants right now, got to go for it. Right tip, got to go for it. And he is to the head and body. But where is that body shot we saw in the fourth round? Then Benavidez. Miles ahead. First half of this fight, highly competitive. Final minute. Crawford in front of his head is not how we want to end this fight, however. Oh! Crawford gets him! My, oh my! What a shot! They all expect him to be. He is. What a huge right. Terrence Bud Crawford. Lee Sublime. Excellently skilled. Terrence Bud Crawford. We are underway for the world title fight. Crawford and Horn. And let it be noted, Robert Bird, the third man inside the rope. Distance. Every time Horn steps in. He gets out just far enough, and he tries to counter just like there. Getting after it pretty early. Lee lunges in just like that with his head. Oh, Horn comes in with a right hand that lands flush on Crawford. A looping right hand and caught Crawford bagging out. Like comes there back again. in, and there's Crawford that does check that right hand hook from that southpaw position. <laughs> pretty good looking opening rounds here, and good exchange there as Crawford able to land. Strong guy. Undoubtedly a bigger guy. Naturally the bigger man. Fighter, thus the left hand that landed moments ago with the reaction time of Crawford. It's a left hand that comes. There are holes and opportunities. He can't get greedy though. Horn will fire back at him. There's on him. The book on Jeff Horn. Major motion picture coming out. All that centering on the relationship of trainer to fighter. That time he came forward and Bud nailed him. Right hook. Charging in with a right hand and now they exchange in the middle of the ring. Horn steps back with his hands down to try to reset. And he's in and looks to sort of bully on the inside. There was another right hand from Horn that Bud Crawford overcame to arrive to this mountain. Straight in his horn again. Right, you get he only, that was three weeks yep. prior to his December title defense. Defensive flaw. Crawford couldn't take advantage, but a left hand hits the mark. And now a pop jab. And a good left hand and a combination from the... his hands, moving out of that distance, close distance, close range. And Terrence is smart enough to follow him and land that. As the fight go on, fighters, fighters weaken. But Crawford later in the fight, it's not... 
He's not working the box. And if you look at his back, he's a welterweight. Another good lead. And Vasily Lomachenko, who vie for that title to be called the world's best. Tonight would be a crowning achievement to become a three-division champion if Crawford... On the outside, he wants to stay right in front of him, blocking counter, block befuddled. first prop. He, he's befuddled. He's being so thorough. Punch You're seeing with, with Bud Crawford. Now you see why. Well, Bud Crawford don't want to be here. If he's there, he wants to be there. He shouldn't be on the ropes like that. Is testing horn soul. He's pushing him around. Mm -hmm. You can see that redness above the right eye as he sends back horn. Crawford's in control here in round five. Up against the limits of his size and his age. Right now, Horn is coming up, at least against Crawford, the limits of his talent. Price for it now. He's trying. I mean, he's landed a few shots. It's, it's a lot easier said than done, even on the inside. Yes, and I want to see more body punches from out of Horn right there. And you see, no, no, that was no. eight, seven, six, five, six, Halfway through the on ESPN Plus. Oh, right. Corner of Crawford. Bomek just wants Terrence to keep working that body. Thing to happen. Yes. They need that miracle. They need to find that magic that they found somehow late against Pacquiao. But this isn't Manny Pacquiao in the autumn of the See, everything is all set up by the jab from Crawford. Lead left hand from Crawford. Goes. And then as Horn stepped for judging this fight ringside. I don't think it's going to come down to the subject of so much debate. What would Robert do? Unofficial judge, and he sees a... And he did. Left hands all night long, now orthodox is Buck Crawford. There is the left hook, and that left hook is deadly. There it is as it backs up Jeff Ball's best. Occasionally, Crawford will lay on his... See him lay on that left side. Punching between punches. Flush left hand, and here comes Bud on the attack. Half minutes ago in round eight. Can he finish him? Left hand king just. Oh, nearly floored him there. Jeff Horn. With a Will he see, soon be a three division champion? With a round like that in evidence. If you're Glenn Rushton and you love your fighter, how long do you let this thing go on? Decision. Good point, but if there's no sting, that's the beauty about boxing. Only takes one punch. He has been thoroughly dominated. Takes is one go of it. <laughs> and he's still coming forward. They're cropping to him. He knows that he doesn't have the power on his punches like he did. Corner to at least factor that in. I don't think we're there yet. Terrence is sharpshooting right now. Left hand, right hook, uppercut, sends him back. Another left hand and a knockdown score. Let's see what Crawford does with it. Here he comes. 